Hi guys, if your SD card is not working properly or you cannot format it or you are experiencing any other problem, then please keep watching. If you also connect your SD card to your computer and you get these error messages, then this video is also for you. In this tutorial, I'll show you everything and show you two powerful softwares that I use to fix SD cards and other storage device problems. So let's begin. I have this bunch of SD cards. The 4GB is unable to format no matter what you do and the 32GB does not show up at all. This 4GB micro SD card shows up but unable to format. So I will insert it into my USB converter and connect it to my computer. As you can see, it has been detected and I need to format it before it can be used. So let me format it. But it gives me Windows is unable to complete the format. Now let's use the basic way to see if we can format the SD card. So here we'll come to the search box and type disk path. And click on yes. After that this black window appears. And we will type these following commands. List disk. And press enter. Now all the drive available in my computer is showing here. And the SD card is the disk tray, which is 3841 MB. So I will type select disk tray and press enter. Again type this, list partition and press enter. And it says there are no partitions. Now type create partition primary and press enter. Then again I will type format fs equals to FAT32 and press enter. Now you can see an error has occurred which indicates that this partition has encountered a problem. This means that the SD card contains some bad sectors and Windows cannot format it. So here we are going to use a software for that purpose. So here open any browser of your choice and go to Google search and type revitalize and press enter. Here choose the first link which is the official website of Revitalize. From there scroll down and click on download Windows and UEFI demo. After the application is downloaded, run it and install it. When this window appears, click exit, then next, and then finally finish. From there, run the application from the desktop, then again yes. After that, this demo warning message will show. Don't worry, the demo version also works. Just wait for the time to count down. Now here, be very attentive and very careful. This side will detect any available storage devices in your computer. So please select the appropriate drive. In my case, I will click the drop down arrow and select the 4GB SD card. From there, I will click start. Here, if I want to repair bad sectors or corrupted SD cards or USB flash drives, I only use two features. That is option 2, read test and option 3, write test. You can go with either options. But please note that option 2 read test will not cause any data loss during the repair process but option 3 write test will cause data loss. But in certain conditions, you may need to use both options in order to achieve a successful repair so please attempt this with caution. So here in my case, I wish to go for option 3 write test to wipe and refresh all the sectors of the drive so I'll click on option 3 write test. From there, I'll click start. And I'll get this information that this option will erase all data on the drive and that you can never be able to recover any data from the selected drive after the process. I'll choose yes. This process will take some time depending on the capacity of your drive. So you need to be very patient.
After the process is completed, I had this scan results. Now I will attempt to format the drive again in Windows. Now you can see the SD card has successfully been repaired. But one may ask, under what circumstance will you have to use both the read and write tests? Let me demonstrate another summarized case study in which the SD card was full of numerous bad sectors and the option 2 which is the read test alone could not fix the issue. Please observe very carefully. As you can see, the sectors moved up up to some point and quickly stopped. This is because it detected a major bar sector. When anything like this happens, you have to wait a while to check if the bar sectors can be recovered. But if not, use option 3 which is the right test to fix the problem. Again, I'm going to show you another free powerful software to recover or repair any storage device. I will use the 4GB SD card as an example. First of all, come to Google and type Dix Genius and press enter. Choose the first link which is the official website of Dix Genius. Go to download and click free download and wait for the application to finish downloading. After that, install the app and run it. On the dashboard, you can see all storage devices are listed on the left side of your screen. From there, I can choose my 4GB SD card from here by right click on it and select verify and repair bad sectors. From there, click on start verify. This process will check all the block sectors and somehow in the process will be making minor repairs first. So you will need to be very patient for the process to complete. Again when you look at this section. It has series of colors. These colors shows whether the sector's condition are good or bad. Now the process is completed. This took about 30 minutes depending on the size of your drive. And the report says that no bad sectors were found. In case there are bad sectors detected, then you click repair. But before that, please note that repairing bad sectors will erase the drive. So if you have any important files or data, then make a backup before you attempt this feature. Now let's fix the other SD card. The problem is that it doesn't show up when connected to a phone or computer. However, after careful inspection, I discovered that the connecting terminals are a little dark and getting corroded. So first of all, I'll use an eraser to rub the terminals. This process can solve a lot of problems, so never ignore it. And if it still persists, then I can use a sharp object like a pin or blade to scratch the surface of the terminals as demonstrated in the video. Please do not do that horizontally, but rather vertically, just the same way the terminals are arranged. After that, I'll connect it into my SD card to USB convector and connect it to my computer. Now, the drive is showing, but it seems it's corrupted, so let me attempt to format it. Wow, the disk is right protected. What is the cause of this? First of all, I need to change the micro USB convector and then try again. But in case you are using the standard SD card, please observe carefully that there is a notch at the side of it 
it should be at the top and not down. If the nut is pushed down, it means write protection has been activated. So after I connect it to my computer, let me try and reformat it again. And this time it worked. This means that the problem was coming from the USD converter. But this is not always the case. So how about if this step did not work for you? Then I would suggest you watch another video I created on how to use command prompt to remove write protection. I will leave the link in the description below. Again, if that also did not work, then please use revitalize software. I have used it many times to successfully remove write protection from some SD cards and USB flash drives. If that also fails, it indicates that the SD card firmware is corrupted and at this point, there is nothing much you can do because the USB flash drive and the SD card manufacturers are supposed to provide clients the firmware updates to fix their firmware issues. This same problem also goes for no media SD cards, they are all firmware issues. Now let's look at another short case study. I have this SD card that is corrupted and I wish to recover it. Then first, I will remove the SD card from the phone. And connect it to a SD convector. After that, I will connect it to my computer and check whether it shows up. But before that, we can see some errors on the drive. So let's fix it. Yes, it shows up, but some of the files are corrupted. This is an image file and when I open it, it shows nothing. To fix this, come to the search box and type CMD and run as an administrator. Now type the following commands. CHKDSK space slash f space and here the drive letter mine is g so i'll type g then colon and press enter this command will scan and repair all corrupted files on the drive after that let's check Now you can see the image file is recovered. So that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you can now resolve any format error problems in your USB flash drive or SD cards. But in case you encounter any problems, please kindly contact me through the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, thanks for watching, have a lovely evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.